Hi guys, it's Erin, and I'm here with just a generic, hey, I want to make something kind of layout. I um, I don't do these a whole lot. I usually have them going on with something, or me trying to use something up, or, well, okay, so fine, I am technically trying to use something up. These papers from Echo Park I've had for a long time, and I bought them to use with these photos from SeaWorld uh, from 2012. Not even kidding. It's my birthday in 2012. For two years in a row, we went to SeaWorld for my birthday, so... And yeah, I know the whole Sea World controversy, and I I don't approve. But I also wanted to go to an aquarium, so that's why we went. And you know, deal. <laughs> so I um I thought, okay, well I do still have these photos from the aquarium part of our trip, and so I thought I'd include as many as I could onto this layout. So I got four. It's not too bad. I have a cool octopus, some some fish. I think those might be sturgeon. I honestly have no idea. And some clownfish, because who didn't love Finding Nemo? I mean, really. And I'm just trying to use up as much of these scraps as I can. And I, I don't, like, have sketches when I craft, but I usually have a plan, like, in my head of, you know, sort of what I think I'm going to do. With this one, I'm just winging it. I'm literally just gluing paper down and hoping it works. So you see when I trim this down, it doesn't quite work, but this photo doesn't want to come up, so that's where the photo is going to be. So it's um, it's shorter at the bottom than it is at the top, but oh well. It's not that big of a deal. And I got that scrap in there, and then put that scrap at the top so that I get green on both places. And then the last photo, and then I'm trying to decide what to do with the rest of these scraps. And I realized that corner over there is kind of uneven, and I can't rip up that those papers. So let's cover it over. So I make this little curved half moony thing, and like most of that photo is dark anyway because this was the dark aquarium. I mean, all of the aquariums are dark there, but this is the one where it's like a tiny little square where the animal is in. Like, the uh, the octopus didn't have a whole ton of room. He was just in a little square tank. So most of the most of the photo's dark except me and the, just the little window into the tank you can see. So I thought I'd just cover that up. And I'm trying to add more color. I'm either trying to get the color from the background, so I'm thinking about maybe using the dot, but I also want to use the red. How much red can I use, considering I had stamped a... Uh, a fish the last time I made a layout on this paper and then how can I cover them up if I use so much of it so I'm just trying to trying to balance that out I mean I, I do like working with with scraps and making layouts and stuff out of it but sometimes it's hard especially when you've done something like stamped on your paper <laughs> something or I need punches to at least cover up this one spot and then add some decoration type interest to this layout, so here we go. Here's a dot there. Use up the stars in that paper, which I really liked. And um, try to see, do I want more green? And if I can get away with more green in there. Because I didn't want to do blue on blue. Even the lighter wave blue on top of the more bold blue, it didn't work, so. And I decided I didn't like those two different kind colors in the center, so we're just going to go with the darker wave blue. And I'll use the other ones on another project. So I'm just going to glue those down. And I was kind of making it like bubbles, you know? I probably should have overlapped them and it would have looked better, but... It works, and it's covering up a lot of extraneous space in the photos. So then I'm going to get a journaling tag thing, and I thought, well, what if I had a fish thing my journaling? So I'm looking for this, which is all of my fish and undersea stamps. And I'm going to use this one by Hero Arts. And then I'm just trying to, since I had stamped, I'm, I'm pretty sure that I used this line for all the other photos, I should have gone and checked my scrapbooks, but I didn't. 
Um, but I'm pretty sure these are the ones that I, I stamped and cut out the little fish for, and they were all paper piece, so I'm going to try and paper piece this guy too. And so I used some Adirondack ink, and then I think, oh, well, maybe I should... Uh, Maybe I should add some more interest by coloring them in with some Copics, which is stupid because Adirondack ink and Copics do not get along well. Do not use them together. They don't like each other. You can ruin your Copics this way. So don't do what I'm about to do. <laughs> All right, first I fussy cut this because I like fussy cutting. It's like Zen or whatever. So I cut him out, and I decide where I want him to go. Make sure I glue everything down before I get going, which is kind of silly because if I color outside the lines, I just color down on the background, but whatever. I don't really care that much. I'm not exactly picky about my layouts. And see here, I color with the Copic and I realize, oh, I just made the, uh, I just made the ink run and I've gotten a black mark on my yellow Copic. So now I'm being extra careful because I already colored, so I didn't want to wreck it or make it look uneven, but look, I switched to pencils because that's what you're supposed to do if you use the uh, incompatible ink. So I switched to pencils and I'm just giving him a little bit of color and a little bit of interest and trying to match the rest of the colors in the layout. Since he is the only yellow thing on the layout, he's going to be drawing a lot of attention. So I wanted to make sure that he got some got some extra interest and that's it oh wait no always dots always dots yeah make the dots look like bubbles too okay thank you for watching bye bye